Hello everyone. In this video, I will be demonstrating an experiment on SCR turn on circuit by using UJT relaxation oscillator. Now let us familiar the components. First one is UJT firing circuit. This is a kit. Then we need one CRO. Then CRO probe. Then we should have one rheostat. Then we need patch codes and multimeter. First of all, I would like to familiar this particular kit. So this portion is belong to UJT, UJT firing circuit and this is our SCR. Our ultimate goal is to turn on SCR by using UJT firing circuit. This is one of the method of turning on of SCR. Now let me explain how to rig up the circuit. By using the pass code we can make out the particular circuit. Now let's consider the circuit. We have unijunction transistor over here. The terminals of unijunction tran transistors are emitter, B1 and B2. This is belong to SCR. It's a silicon controlled rectifier. It is a controlled device. It is having three terminals, anode, cathode and gate. So, so you need to do the connections as per the given circuit diagram. I would like to familiar the kit which you are going to use for the experiment. As you can see, this is a bridge rectifier. It converts AC supply into DC supply. To protect the circuit, we are going to use a Zener diode, which is shown over here. And this segment you can observe, this is the part of UJT. Now, the value of CF that is given as 100 microfarad and it is operated at 35 volt. Similarly, uh, the value of capacitor C that is equal to 0.22 microfarad. And also we can say that the UJT, the, the unijunction transistor which is used here is 2N2646 and the silicon controlled rectifier that is SCR which is used in this kit is TYN612 and the operating range is 600 volt comma 12 ampere. Right now let us begin with the connection. First of all from the supply side so we need to connect to the cathode of SCR these are the cathode terminal you can connect either from here or here both are fine so let me connect it over here now let us consider the secondary portion of the isolation transformer so you need to connect the secondary of the isolation transformer to the cathode of SCR similarly other end has to be connected to gate terminal as in this manner. Now, one end of the supply that should be connected to rheostat. So, you can take the connection properly. Moreover, other end of the rheostat, there are two terminals, one already been connected, other terminal should be connected to anode of SCR. Either you can connect this point or here, both are fine. So let me connect it over here. Now let us consider CRO. So we can have one CRO probe. We need to check whether the CRO probe is working fine or not. So how to check the CRO probe is working fine? We have to check the correctness of the CRO probe. So you connect the CRO probe first. So I will be using second channel. What you can do is one of the terminal, this red terminal, that should be connected over here. Now let us see the CRO screen. So you can adjust the time per division. Now, if you are getting the square pulse, then I can say that CRO probe is perfectly working. It is perfectly fine. In order to measure the output, we are connecting the CRO probe directly to the load terminals. First of all, we need to turn on the main supply of the kit. Okay, thereafter, you need to keep the firing angle. This is a knob which you can change the firing angle. Okay, firing angle has to be kept at maximum position. At maximum position. Now we are able to get the output voltage. Now let's consider the waveform which we have obtained. So this is our full cycle. It will be starting from this point and ending to this point. That means this is a complete cycle. But here we will be considering only the half cycle. You can observe the pointer. 
from here to here we are only considering the half cycle now let's learn how to calculate firing angle alpha you can use a simple formula to compute the value of alpha that is number of divisions upon total number of divisions into 180 degree here we are considering only half cycle that is why we are using 180 degree otherwise you would have been used to 360 degree if you are considering full cycle i would like to show you a sample waveform here you need to calculate the value of alpha from this point to this point you will be getting total number of divisions moreover from this point to this point you are able to get number of divisions then you have to take the ratio of total number of divisions to the cut cut from this waveform you need to calculate the ratio of number of divisions that means from here to here divided by total number of divisions into 180 degree now let's consider the waveform here the full cycle means it will be started from this point to this point this is a full cycle but right now we are not considering the full cycle we will be considering only half cycle that means you can note down this point from this point to this point that means you can count the total number of divisions equal to 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 1 then 1.2 1.4 1.6 so total number of divisions equal to 1.6 now let's take reading so in order to take the reading you need to change the firing angle you can see by using this you can able to change the firing angle so let me vary firing angle so i'll be changing this very slowly you can change yes i have changed now let's consider the waveform first and foremost thing you need to measure the number of divisions that is equal to 1 then 1.2 1.4 so what you can do is you need to reduce 1.4 from the total number of division the total number of division is equal to 1.6 so you need to take the difference of 1.6 minus 1.4 so difference between 1.6 and 1.4 that is equal to 0.2 so please note down uh, the number of division at, at present is equal to 0.2 why the total number of division is equal to 1.6 you need to reduce 1.6 minus 1.4 that is equal to 0.2 so you have to take the ratio of 0 0.2 divided by total number of division we already computed the total number of division that is equal to 1.6 0 0.2 divided by 1.6 into what is the cycle we are considering only half cycle so 0 0.2 divided by 1.6 into 180 degree now let's calculate the value of firing angle alpha that is equal to number of divisions we have computed as 0 0.2 and 1.6 means total number of division that should be multiplied with 180 degree since it is a half cycle we have to multiply with 180 degree then you will be able to get the answer that is equal to 22.5 degree so this is the firing angle alpha Ready. Uh. at the same time you are supposed to measure the voltage across uh, the rheostat that is vdc actual value of vdc you can note down the actual value of vdc with the help of multimeter Now you can observe the actual value of VDC that is equal to 6. The actual value of VDC equal to 6.84. You can note down the particular value. Reading should be tabulated. So we have measured the actual value of VDC that means voltage across the load that is equal to 6.88 volt. And firing angle we have already computed that is equal to 22.5 degree. Similarly, we need to calculate the VDC by using the formula. So we have to verify the calculated value of VDC and the actual value of VDC. So we already computed the actual value of VDC. Now we have to do the calculation. How to calculate VDC by using the formula? There is a formula that means VDC is equal to Vm divided by 2 pi into 1 plus cos alpha, where alpha is known as firing angle. Now you can vary the firing angle. You have to take different reading. Now I will be changing the firing angle. You can observe here. Now let us consider the waveform. So we need to measure the point from this here to here. That means uh, 1 then 1.2. This will be 1.2. So I need to calculate what is the number of division. Number of division is equal to 1.6 minus 1.2. That is nothing but 0.4. Now let us calculate the value of alpha for the second reading. That is equal to number of division that is 0.4 and the total number of division is equal to 1.6. 0.4 divided by 1.6 into 180 degree. That is nothing but 45 degree. At the same time, you need to measure the voltage across the load. That is equal to 6.31. You can measure with the help of multimeter. Same procedure. Uh, you have to repeat the step till the firing angle that is equal to 180 degree. You can vary the knob and you can verify. Same manner you have to take. So we have 
computed VDC. That means the calculation of output voltage by using the simple formula Vm divided by 2 pi into 1 plus cos alpha. Here how to take the value of Vm? We now let us use the multimeter. What you can do is you can connect the multimeter ac across these two terminals. Don't forget to set the position into AC mode. You have to set the multimeter into AC mode and you can able to get the Vm. This is equal to uh, 22.36. Uh,